Hello Internet and welcome to ACD Camping, the home of woodland snuggings on a shoestring budget. I'm ACD and on this episode I'd like to give these a little bit of a whirl. I bought these back in April. Uh, full disclosure, um, they have been in the cupboard for a couple of months and I, have, I pulled them out on Friday to give them a little bit of a test drive. I've only worn them maybe a couple of hours on Friday just to the shops and back and the same again yesterday to visit my parents but today I thought I'd give them a bit of a bit of a rundown and a walk through quite literally so stick around and let's see how they do so I've been wearing them for about two days now and they already started to feel like the inner soles bunching up under my under my foot it's a really strange feeling it's Almost like you've got a gel insole in the shoe, but not. Very, very strange feeling. Imagine you've stood on some chewing gum, only the chewing gum is the sole itself. That's, that's how it actually feels walking in these things. Very, very strange. I've only been wearing these a, a couple of days, literally I put them on for the first time on Friday, wore them to go to a shop and back that were like five, ten minutes down the road. I've worn them to go visit my parents and they live only maybe what, 10, 15 minutes away from me. And today we're just having a little bit of a walk around town and it already feels like the right sole is actually starting to split. I'll have to have, have, to have a, a look when I get home. Um, yeah, it's, I would not recommend these shoes at all, to be honest. The only use I can think of for them is if you go to a music festival and you want a pair of shoes that could probably last the weekend and then you can throw away after you've been and seen all your favourite bands on the main stage and walked to your back to your tent a few times. Yeah. Literally, that's the only use I can think of for these shoes at the moment, but <coughs> keep going. You can always tell ch uh, cheap shoes because the, the, the soles have this shiny, plasticky look to them. But I thought, I'll give them a try, and I, what, I did actually buy them back in, what, April, um, but I thought I were going to save them and review them on a camping trip that I'm planning on doing later in, later in the month, but I thought, no, I'll, I'll review them now, because, well, <laughs> they've been sat in my cupboard for, for a good couple of months now. And I, I took them out, looked at them, and thought, you know what? I don't think they'd last a, a couple of days of hiking and camping. So I started wearing them, uh, let's say, to, to the shops to visit my parents. Um, and they, they really, really are probably the worst pair of shoes I've ever bought. They're horrible to walk on.
on second thoughts, if you were scrolling through your Facebook one day and you noticed that a local charity is trying to do some kind of fundraising event that involves maybe, I don't know, hiking to the top of the local landmark or whatever and back, that, they'd be good for that, just as like a one-off thing, but for everyday, long-term use, no. I would not recommend these at all. I feel like I can, I can literally feel every stone piercing my foot. And for hiking shoes, that is not a good thing at all. Just, I'll just move the camera so you can see the terrain that I'm walking on at the moment. I can feel each and every one of these stones under my foot. And I have another pair that I use quite often and they're, they're of a, a decent quality and a known brand but these in comparison no it, 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 I know it's like I don't know comparing a Maserati to a Larder but yeah these are not what I would recommend at all if you're looking for something cheap Go, go to a local store and ask, ask a professional. Home now. Um, so once I get there, I'll take these things off and we'll have a look at the sole and compare them to my other shoes. My other shoes uh, are a Tog 24 and I've been wearing them for oof, a good year, I think. And we'll we'll have a have a bit of a deep dive. I'm back home now from my little walk around and these are my usual pair these are these are a Tog 24 brand I'm not quite sure of the model I got them as a gift about a year ago I have quite literally been up the hill and out the hill with these numerous times and they take a knock in and they keep on rocking I highly recommend Tog 24 um, in all honesty they are a little bit expensive but um, there are stores where you can get them on like January sales and things so keep your eye out for Tog24 <clears throat> these things on the other hand um, I got them back in April from Timu and they cost me £12.95 uh, and I can't think of anything decent to say about these things to be honest um, I've worn them maybe a grand total of four hours maybe five and hmm, what can we say well first of all let's have a look at what the soles are like and you can I don't know if you can make out on the on the camera here but they're already starting to wear here. It's getting quite thin on the actual sole shelf. Um, and that's literally walking to the shops and back, maybe 10 minutes down the road, there and back. On Friday to my parents, the same length of distance, maybe 10 minutes there, 10 minutes back. And the two hours walk that I did this afternoon. I tried to simulate terrain that you may come across when you're on a hike, uh, going upstairs, going up inclines, going on rocky ground, pavements, and each and every single simulated piece of terrain that I could come across, I found something on these shoes that could go wrong over a space of time. 
I've already mentioned the soles and how they're already wearing away. Um, the inner portion of the shoe, I don't know what material is in underneath the insole, but I could feel every stone. And when I were on flat ground, uh, town center sort of paved areas, it actually felt like I was walking on chewing gum all the way. Um, it was like this horrible squishy feeling all the way. It was no. Over rocks, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, um, I could feel every stone, every branch. Um, you can see how squishy they are. Compare that to the Tog 24s. There's no play whatsoever in the Tog 24s. But these things, no. The, the brand name of them is I don't know how you pronounce that. Kada. It's spelled C A I D A I. Um, yeah, they're just horrible, horrible shoes. And no. All I can recommend is if you're in the market for a cheap budget pair of shoes, try finding something from a, a more. Um, local store shall we say um try, try and catch the eye of one of the shops shop staff and um explain your budget explain what you need and i'm sure they'll be able to help you and they will be much grateful for your custom um that's acd signing out for today's episode um I buy these things so you don't have to avoid Timu shoes. Um, unless, of course, they have something of a higher price bracket. But even then, you are risking um, sat on scene purchases. And that's, that, that's one of the downsides of the internet. You may find something that's well within your budget purchase it and when it arrives it's the worst thing that you've ever bought in your life till next time this is acd saying ciao for now